In a time where a completely new image is merely a few minutes away with the help of AI generators such as Midjourney and Stable Diffusion, it is important to look at what really makes a work of creation a work of art. Deep down, what separates the great works of Van Gogh, Michelangelo, and Picasso from these AI-generated images? Is it the human component, the medium, or perhaps the work involved that designates it as art? Or is it possible that the images AI generators create can indeed still be classified as art in some new way? To me, I have a pretty open interpretation of what makes art art. If you're creating something and you enjoy it and it brings you joy to make or maybe not necessarily joy, but you know, you're putting yourself into your craft. I think that is a big part of what defines art and an artist. Um, but I think if you want to get more technical with it, you know, I think that human element, again, really needs to be there. Uh, art kind of needs that storytelling, that concept, that human touch to it to really kind of make it impactful, to tell a story, to uh, emote something, to emote something out of the viewer. Um, and so I think that's kind of a big part of it. Three elements, intentionally presented, engage the imagination in such a way that gives rise to valuable emotions. First of all, that, that handles things like found art, if you want to call it that. So, I mean, if, if you go down to Dylan's and get a bunch of flowers and you arrange them a certain way and, and, and uh, set them you know, on a table uh, to catch the eye of your beloved. Uh, I mean, there, there are works of art which are just rich, rich, rich. I mean, they, 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 they become classics because people can't set them down. You know, the, the, the symphonies of Beethoven or, or late string quartets. The, the, well, Michelangelo's got it all over the place. He's got it in architecture, he's got it in sculpture, he's got it in, in, in painting. People keep coming back to these things because they, um, they keep delivering the goods. You know, they, 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 they really, they continue to, to challenge, they continue to inspire, disturb in some cases. So now the question becomes, do these AI-generated images classify as art according to their definitions? I don't know, I think what, what AI art kind of puts out is artwork in and of itself, but I think a lot of times the art generally is lacking in kind of that human element. You know, of course you have somebody putting in prompts, they can kind of add in that emotion, that storytelling, but I think when you're not in kind of full control, so I think it starts to kind of lose that human element. It becomes almost too, um, it's kind of like a factory, you know, in a way. To me, I see a distinction between AI art is art. AI art is art, but I don't think it necessarily makes the person doing the prompts an artist. See, the, the art is not the, the computer generated thing. The art is what you do with it. Right, uh, and and that's the key, uh, and 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 there's nothing new about this. I mean, the the, the 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 AI is new, but the but the idea of taking stuff and presenting it in a way that engages the imagination, that's everything. I interpret truly art as like what makes it good art, what makes it great art, even. If if AI generated art is like flowers, <laughs> well, of course you can arrange it, you know, and, and present it, but but don't pretend that the flower is an artist. You know, it's kind of exciting that hopefully AR, AI art, if nothing else, just is kind of that catalyst to make somebody want to get more into art and, you know, learning to use their unique voice creatively. But I don't think it should necessarily be like the be all end all for people because it doesn't make you an artist by doing that, so. There are cheap mass produced things which people like. They're not gonna think. Chips Ahoy cookies are pretty good. And everybody likes Chips Ahoy cookies. And, and Oreos. The, the, the people who care about eating, you know, will, will, will go to a great baker to, to uh, well, to be moved, you know. It can never replace someone physically painting an acrylic painting or an oil painting or traditional animation. And at the very heart of it, you can't replace like a person's unique voice, um, their unique perspectives and what makes them create. The discussion then turns to how much human intervention is required to turn these images into something that can truly be called art, while simultaneously making the person prompting the AI an artist. Lots of other AI artists, they generate the imagery, but then, you know, they paint on top of it, kind of collage multiple images together, start to touch up certain elements of the creation. So, uh, to me, I think to make the person prompting the AI an artist, I think they do need to put in that like 
a little bit more something something to it, you know, than just putting in a prompt and kind of changing up the prompts each time. Uh, something artificially generated or, in, you know, computer generated can certainly be taken by a human being, presented intentionally, right, to engage the imagination and evoke valuable feelings, absolutely. Or creatively, you know, use it in some sort of collage or who knows what, you know, yeah, absolutely. Of course, with any new technology, many concerns have arisen, specifically for artists. How may this affect their work? Is it going to take away jobs? And how should they look at AI art? Does it spell the end for artists, or should it instead be met with a more optimistic outlook for the potential benefits it may provide? I would personally urge other artists to maybe see it more as a tool or something that we can use to help make us better workers, faster workers, work through ideas quicker, see what's working, what's not working. I don't think it's the end of artists and as we know it, you know, again, there's always kind of been that fear historically in art, you know, when the camera was invented, when digital art was a thing, you know, some people to this day don't even really consider just digital painting real art. There are magnificently great portrait painters these days. Once upon a time, though, portrait was really kind of the only thing that you had. I mean, a, a painted portrait was the only thing if you wanted to remember what grandma looked like, you know? And, and, and there, were, there was a kind of crappy portrait painter who, who yeah, was totally shut down by, by uh, photography, you know, when, when it came out. But, I mean, it turns out the photography itself becomes an art. Photographic images become uh, magnificent in the hands of, 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 a, of a, a true person who who, who has, has heart, can imagine what the effect of this will be, can shape it and capture it in a way that, you know, grabs you. I mean, it, it, it's a new art. And, and this will be so for AI, of course it will be. They know how to take stuff from the environment and, and, and use it. That AI-generated stuff is stuff in the environment, or will be, you know, if it's not there yet, it's, it's, it's coming. Um, and then the question is, can you use it well? Can you use it wisely? Can you use it with a sense of humor, you know. It can be a really great idea tool, you know, like when I was kind of using it to feed in what the client wanted from me. You know, some of the things it pumped out did kind of inspire me where I was like, oh, I maybe wouldn't have thought to, you know, maybe do this composition or put the character there. But, you know, I can kind of take those pieces from those generated imagery and then I can translate that into my own unique voice, my own unique artistic expression. AI art is not something to be feared, shut down, or hidden away to never see the light of day again but rather it's an evolution in a tool for the art industry. Not only does it allow for previously non-artists to get involved in even a minute way, potentially working as a gateway for new artists, but provides a way for established artists to quickly get concepts and ideas to use in something of their own making. Of course, it's having its growing pains, as all new technology often does. Legislation and copyright laws need to be fleshed out to properly give credit where credit is due and protect the rights of artists themselves. But it's here to stay, and it'll be a whole lot easier to accept it and use it than to try to get rid of it. The, the way you'll know, I mean, whether it's truly great art, is whether people care about it in the long run. I think if we sit there and be scared of it, we're never going to see it for what it could be. We're just going to see it as a scary thing that needs to get shut down that we need to avoid, you know? I think it's kind of interesting to see where it's going to go. I say wait and see. <laughs>